Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. Today I'm going to tell you about swallow-tailed kites. Swallow-tailed kites are raptors, and it's the largest species of kite in America. They can be 19 to 24 inches long, which includes their fork tail that is 12 to 15 inches long. They have a wingspan of 50 inches. Many female birds appear similar, having a contrasting deep black and white body. The flight, feathers, tails, feet, and bill are all black. Another characteristic is the elongated forked tail, hence the name swallow-tailed. Young individuals are duller in color than the adults, and their tail is not as deeply forked. A swallow-tailed kite lives for around six years. Swallow-tailed kites breed from the southeastern United States to eastern Peru and northern Argentina. Swallow-tailed kites use to live in 21 states. Now they are found in only 7 states. The swallowtail kite is also a bird that migrates between the regions of North America, Central and South America. Swallowtail kites are largely associated with wetland forests that provide the birds with nesting habitats. They can be found in rainforest, mountain cloud forest, mangroves, swamps, and marshes. Those adult swallow-tailed kites eat mostly flying insects. They feed their young with many times the small vertebrates, including tree frogs, lizards, nestling birds, and snakes. They snatch these animals from trees and other plants while in flight and carry them in their feet. The swallow-tailed kite bird also has a unique way of drinking water by skimming the surface and collecting water in its beak to then drink. Solitaire kites eat many stinging insects, including wasps and fire ants. In Florida, the kites often return to their nests with whole wasp nests, eat the larvae, and add the insect's nest into their own nest. Their stomachs are thicker and spongier than the average raptor's stomach. Also, their feathers and the tough skin on their legs and feet protect them from stings, but most of the time, kites just pull out any stingers before gobbling the insects down. Swallow-tailed kites eat almost all their food on the wing. The kites' aerial acrobatics want the hunt or something to see. It continually flicks and rotates its tail, switching from a straight course to a tight turn in an instant as it scans for prey. Sometimes it rolls and dives backward to catch an insect behind it. Adults swallow their food while flying, rarely perching during the day. The kites start nesting in March. They build nests high in dead trees, often 100 feet from the ground. They often nest in loose colonies with other kites, usually by water. Both males and females incubate and feed the growing babies. The incubation is 28 to 30 days, a long time if you're a bird used to soaring through the sky. Chicks leave the nest and make their first flight at around 40 days after hatching. There are 150,000 solitary kinds out in the world today. According to the IUCN Red List, Swallowtail kites are endangered in many countries. The main threat to swallowtail kites is habitat loss due to the deforestation and habitat degradation. Shooting, air collection, and disturbances are other serious factors that influence the population decline of this species. The best place to look for swallowtail kites in the U.S. is in Florida, although these spectacular birds also take to the skies above wooded wetlands across six other southeastern states. But Florida has the highest population of kites, and you can see them there only from March to September. Island Park Fish Camp in D-Land, Florida 
is the closest access by water to one of the largest roosts of swallowtail kites in Florida. To find swallowtail kites, keep your eyes on the skies as these light and graceful birds spend most of the day aloft, either skimming their treetops or soaring up high. Remember that these birds leave the U.S. after their breeding season, so summertime is the best time to look for them. Thanks for watching this Adventurous Kids episode. What did you learn today? Adventurous Kids! Adventurous Kids! What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous Kids! Adventurous Kids! Adventurous Kids!